Hello, today we're at Stratford Park Run and this is our 600 subscriber special video and by no requests at all I'm gonna do park running crocs today. Hayley, what are you expecting from my park running crocs today? <laughs> I reckon you'll do really well. We do seem to use the kind of thing. I have no aim in mind, <laughs> but hopefully to survive. I've got the calf sleeves on because I think my legs are gonna be absolutely shot by the end of this. But yeah, they've changed it to a four lap course today, which is kind of worrying. Let us know in the comments what you reckon I will do today and we'll see at the end if any of you did it. Okay, so we've arrived at the park of the battlegrounds of just me, <laughs> but Hayley didn't really want to wear Crocs today. Mine have like holes in from <laughs> stress at Bryson. <laughs> they don't, they're a bit, they're like a size smaller than my actual shoes, so they would definitely just shatter. <laughs> But yeah, I've done one test run in them. That was midweek this week. Only about a K and not at a pace. I have got them in my <laughs> shoes on Strava. And of course, everyone knows you've got to put them in sports mode. So I'm double socking it. Interesting day ahead, I think. So let's get this one started. It's a very sunny day here in Stratford upon Avon today, and today is four laps of the park. We went over to the first grass section, and somehow I was actually leading <laughs> this park run, which is a bit odd. Yeah, got suited into my pace, which was pretty quick off the mark. I was doing basically near enough my 5k PB pace which isn't ideal considering the heat and the footwear but I was just like, hey, I'll just go with it and see what happens With all these willow trees you can kind of tell sometimes after they've grown a bit there's quite a lot of ducking and weaving going on which isn't ideal but luckily they've been cut today which is the main thing This is a really nice course because you get to run down by the river quite a lot We're just heading on to the second part of the grass on the first lap now so this section now is the section they added on instead of going around the park. So this is why we have to do an extra lap because we cut the lap short. So we're just going around. It's an extra lap on the grass. Normally it would all be on path apart from the start of each lap. Heading up to my first K and it's a pretty hot first K being about 3.28 on the clock. So that is very quick indeed considering the shoes. Parking isn't free, but it's only about £1.50. There's plenty of marshals, so you can never get lost. It's always a great atmosphere at Stratford. <laughs> but yeah, starting the second lap now. Still in first, which is good, but I'm pretty sure in a second, yep. I'm getting overtaken by my friend, who is doing very well indeed as well. So we're both going pretty strong. We're doing about 3.30s along here. Yeah, I was trying to let Harry keep us in a good pace but he was slowly slowly getting away from me which wasn't ideal we've just started to overtake the tail runners now and this is where it's going to start getting busy to overtake i think it's quite nice to be in second or third because you can let the people at the front shout everyone out the way <laughs> so i was just letting harry move everyone over to the side we've just gone through the second k in a very nice 332 so we've only fallen off the pace by four seconds so it's not horrendous but i do need to try and pick it up so we're over halfway now i then get onto the third lap and this is where it gets really busy as you can see from this video third k we went through in 334 so it's not much slower but it's still we are slowly dying off here so hopefully i can hold on and reel harry back in not sure how i'm gonna feel doing an extra lap today 
at least this grass section is actually getting trodden down now you can tell it's like got a bit of a path on it now so it's not as bad as the first lap I've just started to pick Harry back up and overtaken him back into the lead so that's always a good thing into the last lap we go now we've already got about K and a bit left K4 we managed to go through in uh, 3 minutes and 37 seconds so yet again the slowest K of the run slowly dying off about 9 seconds down in the first K but we move and basically yeah <laughs> I was winning and then this guy absolutely tanks it with 300 meters to go and basically left me for dead I was trying to catch him up but yeah, he, he did fair play to him, he destroyed me on the last 300 meters. I did find out later on in the day that he actually got a personal best, so hopefully I spurred him on a bit, and congrats to him. I was about a minute and a bit slower than my PB, which was completely unexpected. Thank you. That was a pretty great run. Section wasn't there. I reckon it would have been a lot closer. I know. I tried to give it a little sprint. I saw the 17:49. Oh wow! So yeah, I'll pop my pace on Haley's pace as well as both of our positions. So, I was yeah. really far back. I'm busy today. I know, and I think I lapped. Did I lap? Yeah. I heard someone. I was like, surely I haven't lapped Haley already. But yeah, four laps. It's definitely unique because there's a lot more overlapping and it's quite tricky on corners but apart from that pretty good but now to change back into some normal shoes but who knows maybe i'll get some carbon plated crocs if you've watched this video and you need some shoes get don't some crocs. bother with the super shoes they're not needed no. <laughs> Our next adventure. adventure.